This demonstration shows how we can rapidly add detail to a basic design model and bring it to a level suitable for producing class approval drawings. In this case, we will be adding the details required to produce the midship structural arrangement. To achieve ultimate efficiency, we are making use of the part relationships and parametric construction lines created when modeling the basic design in Ship Constructor. To get started, we will revisit the main deck. Before we start modeling, we will activate the task. Tasks are a great way to streamline workflows. To add seams to the deck, we draw construction lines and use the split plate command to split the plate at those locations. Should we need to change the seam locations, we can simply move the construction line later to the new location. We will now add a manhole to the main deck. The manhole can be added by drawing the cutout shape and adding that object to the plate part. This construction line can be modified later should we wish to change the cutout size or location. The profiles in that area need to be modified around the cutout. We can show datum lines on the plate to show the frame locations and use that line as a reference to place a transverse stiffener aft of the manhole. A flat bar combing can be added around the cutout using the faceplate command. We need to modify the longitudinal profile by splitting it at the intersecting transverse profile and bulkhead. Because this is a unique situation and is not symmetrical about the center line of the ship, we will break the relationships it has with mirrored and copied parts. We'll now look at the next deck down, which requires a change in location. As the design has evolved, we have decided to move this deck down 100 millimeters. The connecting plates parts in other planar groups that were defined using the parametric construction lines will be updated automatically. As we can see, the modified deck height has automatically updated the plates and stiffeners that were defined using the mold planes of the deck. We can add profile cutouts to the plates intersecting the shell plate and decks using the Manage Cutout tool. The cutout tool automatically identifies cutout locations based on intersecting planar group's profiles. Next, we'll add corner treatments to the plates. Corner treatments can be predefined snipes or scallops. Plates created using the copy or mirror commands will update automatically. So will the plates that were replicated on different planar groups, including all the frames within this unit. We will add a custom plate above the walkway by drawing the outline we want and defining a new plate part. We need to replicate this new part to the other transverse planar groups before moving on. Next up, we'll update the watertight bulkheads. Similar to the non-watertight frame, plates and profiles defined by the mold plane of the modified deck have automatically updated. We will now add a base plate to the base of our pillar. Using the Add Standard Part at Stiffener command, we can add a bracket to the base of the rectangular section. The new bracket will be mirrored to the other side of the same section. We can use the Rotate Copy command to add brackets in the transverse direction. Three of these brackets can be mirrored to the top of the rectangle section, and then all the new brackets can be mirrored about the center line of the ship to the port side. We'll now add an end treatment to the profiles on the fabricated T-section. Because these parts are related, they all update together. Brackets can be added to the upper side of these stiffeners, connecting them to the longitudinal stiffeners of the connecting deck. We have been advised to change the two inboard plated in sections to corrugated bulkheads for ease of manufacturing. The profile of the corrugation has been predefined in the structural stock library. Once the starboard side has been created, we can mirror it to the port side. We'll skip ahead, add the rest of the details to this planar group, and detail the bulwarks. Let's have a look at the finished model. There is now enough detail within the model to create our midship structure class approval drawing. Using the methods shown in this video, these details can be added and replicated throughout the ship when we progress into the detailed design phases. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.